All right, guys, we're back with another Meals in a Minute, or however long it takes. I'm here in Las Vegas today, and we're putting together three salads. We're going to put together a skinny salad, a sports salad, or a steroid salad. So you better stay tuned. Hit that IGTV. We're going to put this together right now. I've got Gavin Murphy. He's my brother from another mother. I'm a Kelly, some of you know. This is a real Irishman, 100%. 100%. Uh, Gavin's a chef here in Las Vegas, and we're going to walk through this today. Gavin, tell me what we're gonna make first. So we're gonna start with the skinny, which is our basic salad, and then on top of that, we're gonna to add to make our sports and steroids. Okay, let's so, start with the skinny. Okay. Where'd we get all this stuff? This is all Costco, which you know is fantastic. Love, love me some Costco. You guys, when you guys are eating like this, you gotta go to Costco, it's the only way to go. Yep. So what do we start with for the lettuce? Start with our romaine lettuce. I just chopped it up, washed it, pretty straightforward, okay? People ask you why I use romaine lettuce, not a whole lot of vitamins as compared to like a deeper green, but one of the big things is that uh, spinach tastes like dirt, so I use this. <laughs> it's crunchy, it's cool, That's right. it's so easy to prepare. I mean, this thing is perfect. You just chop the end off of it, yeah. and bam, bam, bam. Yeah. And he made this in like five seconds. Speed's important, of course, because we don't want to be in the kitchen all night. Correct. So we start with that as the base for the salad. That's why we use romaine. It's also what we call a low gas salad. It's a low FODMAP food, so, which is always good to know. So next up, what else we got in this? So on top of our lettuce, we have our delicious Cherry tomatoes. I just cut them in half. No big deal, but super sweet. Yeah, I used to get the full tomatoes and dice them up, and then they have these at Costco, just little cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Even if you don't want to cut them in half, you can lob them in there and just uh, it's a nice little burst of flavor. eat them like that. One of the things about making these foods is they need to be convenient so, so that compliance is improved. If it takes you half an hour to make salad, the likelihood that you're going to do it consistently kind of goes way down. Correct. So correct. We're trying to make this kind of quick. I make this up every night. I use these salads uh, initially when I get a weight loss client. I'll put them on a particular diet. And they'll lose weight for a while, and then they'll start getting hungry. And that's a problem. As soon as somebody gets hungry or they get tired, they're going right. to start going off their snacking, diet and yeah. binging and snacking. So we throw the salad in mostly for satiety. I kind of ask them to eat dinner first. Have your protein first and a little bit carb, whatever you're allowed under your, your caloric allotment. And then eat this salad afterwards. It takes a long time to eat this salad. Very satiating. And then you're less likely to, uh, to you know, binge on things, particularly at night. So it's yeah, kind of yeah, the yeah. first meal we put it at. Let's keep going. What do we have? You know, also just another point. These are super sweet, especially right now during the season. Yep. So a lot of people have a sugar craving at nighttime. Yep. This might satisfy that for them. Okay. Okay, next up we have some carrot. Do you want to throw them in there while we go? Let's yeah, keep piling yeah. that stuff on there. So let's put our tomatoes in there. Yep. Okay. Next we have some carrot, peeled, grated. Super simple, easy. Adds a nice bit of color and a little bit of flavor and texture. A lot of food is down to texture. You want a different textures because it satisfies your appetite. Yep. We're going to throw in there next. I've got fat-free cheese up here. Kraft has one you can get on Amazon, you can get it at Walmart. It was not available at Costco. And so uh, we're just using uh, Costco cheese, but imagine it's fat-free. In the skinny salad, that's yep. what we usually put in here. It's a nice texture and taste. There Pop go. a little bit in there. Got a little bit of protein in yeah. there as well. Yeah. Next up, some extra protein. Yep. Hard-boiled eggs. And just the egg whites in the skinny salad. Remember, trying to keep the protein or the uh, calories down overall. This is a great one. Most of these Super eggs, these hard-boiled eggs, if you get them at Walmart, they taste like wax. But at Costco, they actually taste pretty good. I usually yep. eat them in the morning real quick before I go to the gym. So I just cut up a couple eggs. I took out the yolks for this purpose. But again, extra protein, texture, flavor, all that good stuff. Next up, we got here berries. Strawberries are like... 90% water, you got some fiber in there. A pound of strawberries is about 120 calories. We're not putting a pound in here, but it just gives you an idea how this is still a skinny salad and it can taste delicious. The strawberry adds a nice taste to it. Or blueberries, yep. we've got those up here as well. Whatever your preference is, but it really makes the salad taste good, low calorie. Right there. And then that's pretty much it, right? We're just yeah, going to dress it. We could add a little apple or orange to your preference. Uh, sometimes I'll pop an orange in there. All I did for, you know, this will also kind of create a dressing, right? Yep. So, so if you add the orange or the apple in there, right, which I'm just going to do, I just cut it into segments. We're going to dress it with some apple cider vinegar. So again, you have the acid from the vinegar mixed with the sweetness of the carrot, the sweetness of the tomato and the orange. It's going to create a dressing in there. And just a couple of capfuls. It really kind of puts some moisture in it and makes it easy to, uh, delicious to eat. Obviously, if we're using the apple cider vinegar because it has no calories. Uh, other... Salad dressings probably will have some oils or some extra calories. We'll get to that. So like an easy way to measure, like Stan said, is, is just use the cap, yep. right? Because if you pour that in there, um, you know, you could make this too acidic and it wouldn't be very flavorful. That's it. I would put a pinch of salt in here to add some flavor and yep. that's pretty much it. That's it. 
Now, you can eat your dinner first, your protein, and your, maybe your boiled potato or whatever you're using as, as kind of to satiate you. Protein is really important for satiation, obviously, and for retaining lean body mass while you're dieting. Uh, or you can add your protein right to the salad. You can put in some chicken breast or some uh, salmon. We'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, we're going to take this skinny salad, and we're going to step it up, and we're going to make a sport salad out of it. It's really simple. The sport salad really only add two things. We're going to put a regular cheese in there, and we're going to go ahead and leave the yolks in there. And egg yolks are great. A lot of vitamins in there. You got choline, biotin, K2. They're fantastic. So just imagine I kept the yolks and added them in just so you see what we're doing right here. But yep. again, the convenience factor of the eggs from Costco is fantastic. Yeah. Right. So before we move on to the steroid salad, I'm going to take a quick break. So get a word from our sponsors, <laughs> us. So first, Dan Efferding, the Vertical Diet, theverticaldiet.com. I want to show you our proteins. We brought those in tonight right here, Gavin. Come on over and show you. Uh, okay. First, this is a plate from our menu. This is the chicken. Look how good that breast looks. with rice. This is made with bone broth, so the rice is very moist. Put some spinach and peppers in there. Amazing. And we also uh, plated up a steak for you guys. This is our grass-fed steak, potatoes, vegetables. Mm -hmm. This might be what you eat before the salad. So we put those up for you. And then some people like fish. And Gavin was not going to disappoint. I didn't bring any fish over, but just so happens Come he on, has buddy. a fish. I'm so sorry. It's so time to go. So you can just pop that right in. Son of a bitch. Put that in the microwave. You can, you know, some people, my <laughs> wife's from Samoa. She just eat the whole thing. So <laughs> in one go. So yeah, those are your options. Uh, also, now Gavin just so happens, why don't you go ahead and run them through your product here. First of all, this is uh, Sunday, Sunday Provisions. Provisions is the name of the company. So I created a line of pecan butters. And I'll tell you, I was cooking for a client in Los Angeles, a couple of actors, and they wanted a healthy snack not almonds or peanuts and I literally just was in Whole Foods and I saw a bag of pecans and the health benefits of pecans versus say almonds you know even though almonds are higher protein nutritionally speaking and antioxidants pecans are fantastic and flavor wise from a cooking point of view it's really fantastic so I created this pecan butter which is three ingredients Ro um, pecans That's three not tree tree it's three yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah it grows in yeah. the tree yeah it was yeah. the US not Ireland huh, three three I, ingredients okay, yeah go ahead. English uh, pecans, a little bit of maple syrup, and some sea salt. That's it. So I have four flavors. We have our pecan smash, which is our classic flavor. We have our, my favorite actually is the pecan joe, which is coffee. I added decaf mm. espresso. That sounds great. We have a cinnamon flavor. Cinnamon and pecans and the health benefits of cinnamon is fantastic. Right. And then we have our version of a healthy chocolate spread, which is pecan choco. I add a raw, unsweetened raw cacao to this base flavor of the pecan smash. Sounds amazing. Check it out. I'm gonna put his information down below, so read it there, the contact information. Amazing. And now we're moving on to the most important salad. This is the steroid salad. Uh, or so a friend told me. I wouldn't have any knowledge about any of that, so obviously. The steroid salad is obviously the one where you don't have to worry about calories. Now as we start loading in all the stuff that uh, is hidden in your salad at restaurants, the oils, the avocados, yeah. uh, the nuts, all the things that generate a lot of calories that you're probably it's causing you to go over your calories we can throw those in this salad so we did uh we brought an avocado here yeah olive oil obviously is going to be pretty calorie dense and then uh, some honey uh, certainly if you're uh, very active either in sports uh, uh, crossfitters and our mma fighters and uh, our athletes will add start adding sugars uh, carbs to fuel that workload and so we'll throw honey in there. Nuts are always great. Again, high in fat, so it's easy to kind of go over your calorie amount. Macadamia we like the best because yeah. macadamia is high in uh, monounsaturated fat. And so Costco. those are also available at Costco. And you can use, you can add in, you know, almonds or, or any, you know, nuts that you prefer, or nut butters as uh, as Gavin has here. I think we got through the whole thing. We got our skinny sport and steroid salad. What else can we add? Just in terms of making a dressing, if we're going to go with the steroid salad. We can make a dressing with the vinegar and the honey yeah. and the olive oil. So, so we can incorporate that into our salad dressing and basically you would just mix it up in a small deli cup or a container, just olive oil, a little squeeze of lemon and just a couple of caps of the vinegar and just kind of shake it together. That way where you can create your own dressing and get your calories rather than just putting them on separately. It'll, it'll make the salad a little bit you know, more cohesive. That's great. Yeah. One quick tip in terms of the salad, you know, to Stan's point, you can prep a lot of this ahead of time. So you could have your tomatoes packed, you could have your, you know, your eggs, you could have your cheese, so that if you were leaving the house, you yep. can just make a salad quickly. And the yep. dressing, you can make a batch of dressing and just keep it in the fridge, yep. so that you just put maybe a couple of tablespoons per salad, right? 
and then you have it dressed and you just take it out the door with you, put it in the cooler, take it in the car. And you know meal prep is probably the, the single most effective method for complying with a diet. You know how I love to use that, that uh, thermos where I take my hot meals with me wherever I go. This yeah. morning I was in the library and it ran long and I had a thermos meal and I was able to eat that and I, I could come home, grab my kids and take them to Kumon today. I took them down to that, you know, that, that math yeah. and reading yeah, yeah, thing yeah, for the yeah. summer. Uh, they just love the fact that they have to go to school during the summer. I'm sure. But I had a meal handy, and so I didn't have to hit Carl's Jr., and I was able to stay compliant with my diet. And of course, as I mentioned before, these kinds of foods that we recommend and the kind of diet that I recommend also makes it so that your stomach feels good. You don't get a lot of gas and bloating and yeah. IBS, IBD problems. So this looks fantastic. It's delicious. I, I'm sure one of us is going to eat this. Yep. Which is going to be... I want the fish. All right. Here I go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.